The first unrealistic expectation, men can't be abused. And I'm talking about them all. Physical abuse, mental abuse, verbal abuse. I mean, seriously, if a guy were to announce he's being abused by his girlfriend, who's going to believe it? Rogue Chimera over on Reddit summed it up by saying this. The expectation is for men to take punishment or abuse lying down because it's not right to defend ourselves from physical or verbal abuse. In today's video, gents, we're talking about the unrealistic expectations that society places on men. And as we go through these, I'm going to give you my opinion and I would love to hear from you down in the comments below whether you agree or disagree. So my opinion on this first issue, abuse, there definitely is a problem out there. We've got a society that views men coming forward as being weak. No matter what we say, it's still viewed as you're not a manly man if you complain. And we've also got the issue that so many guys just don't even admit it. They don't want to admit the fact that they're in a relationship that's toxic, that they're dating someone that's abusing them. The next unrealistic societal expectation, you got to be six foot one and have six pack abs, the ideal body type, or you've got no chance with the ladies. So, I'm watching a video clip with Zac Efron as he's traveling around the world. In it, he starts eating some pasta shirtless and all the comments are about, oh my gosh, he's got a dad bod. Now, JJ is quick to point out, no, that's not a dad bod. Maybe you can't see the six pack abs, but he's like 12% body fat. He's still in great shape, much better shape than the average guy out there, the average guy with the dad bod. Now, my opinion on this, I think is a bit skewed. I'm married and I'm in my forties, but when I look at guys out there in their twenties, in their teens, I do see a lot of societal pressure with all the stuff we're seeing out there for that six pack ab to have that ripped look, to be in great shape. And I do think that this is becoming a bigger issue for younger men. The next unrealistic expectation, good oral hygiene. I mean, why does it matter whether or not your breath smells or if you brush your teeth? Now, gents, if you don't understand sarcasm, let me be clear. That is not an unrealistic expectation. Every man out there should be brushing his teeth and have good oral health care. Seriously, would you want to kiss someone with bad breath? Now, gents, when it comes to oral hygiene, it all starts with your toothbrush. The toothbrush I've been using now for over two years and I highly recommend the Brio Smart Clean Toothbrush. Now, gents, Brio is the sponsor of today's video. I know the owner and I'm proud to bring him to you because this is the toothbrush that me and my family use. I love it because it's got a battery that I charge once and I can take this thing on the road for six weeks. It's got a timer for two minutes so I know how long to brush my teeth. They've also got three different head types depending on on your need, depending on the size of your mouth, depending on what you want from your toothbrush and the refills are easy. They're affordable and you can set it up so they're automatically sent to you on subscription. And this isn't really talked about on their website, but I love it. It's the fact it's got a low profile. Look at that base right here. I've had a lot of electric toothbrushes that take up a lot more space. I've got a very small bathroom that I share with my family and it's nice to be able to charge this put away the charger and not have to worry about charging it for weeks. And they also come with a two year warranty and a 90 day money back guarantee. So seriously, gents, what do you have to lose? Try out the Brio Smart Clean. If it's not the best toothbrush you've ever tried, then just simply get your money back. That being said, I know it's not going to happen because when I talked to my dentist after I started using the Brio Smart Clean, he was like, wow, your teeth are really good. He actually asked for the recommendation of the toothbrush I was using and it just makes it so easy. If you are still using a manual toothbrush. Understand that you are really opening yourself up for damaging your gums and this could lead to gingivitis and gum disease, which yeah, you don't want to get. And to make this deal even sweeter, when you use that link in the description of today's video, you're not only going to get the best deal on the web, they're going to throw in some additional products for free. Oh, and in addition to toothbrushes, they've also got beard trimmers, hair trimmers. So, if you're looking for any of those devices, go check out Brio, an awesome company. Go check them out. They've got that money back guarantee, no risk on your part and you get the best deal on the web. Use that link in the description of today's video. The next unrealistic expectation, men need to pay for everything. Now, gents, my thoughts on this, in a world where everyone's trying to be equal, this is an unfair expectation. And Crazy Wolf 69, he had a good point about this. It's a catch-22. When you're talking to a modern woman on a date, she says all things should be equal, but then you get stuck with the check. I mean, I can't argue. He's got a good point. Now, me personally, I'm a little bit old-fashioned and I do think if you ask somebody out on a date, you should offer to pay for the date. But it should be something eventually that becomes reciprocal, that a woman should 
could offer to actually pay on the second one, maybe even offer to go halfway on the first one, even though you asked her out. But in that case, I would say, you know what? I asked you out. How about you get the next one, especially if I had a good time and if I want there to be a second date. But I think for a lot of guys, the resentment is they feel like a meal ticket, like women are simply going out with them to get a free meal and they don't like that, especially when these same women are talking about how they want everything to be equal, except when it comes to who's going to pay for, yeah, everything. The next unrealistic expectation, you need to be making six figures. You need to be making so much money that she doesn't have to work once you guys get in a relationship, once you get married. Now, I know there are a lot of guys that are actually cool with this. In the relationship I have with my wife, it is something where she is a stay-at-home mom. She also homeschools and we've had this conversation and I take it very seriously what she's doing to raise our four soon to be five kids. And I think that's a key point. We went into this partnership eyes wide open, knowing that I was going to be the provider when it comes to money. She was going to focus in on building the family and taking care of everything in the home. That being said, I don't think there should be any societal expectations that men have to be the sole breadwinner, especially when we live in a world in which it's very difficult to live on one income and oftentimes women earn more than men. I mean, seriously, the expectation that a guy needs to be making more than $100,000 and be the CEO, be the general manager, if a woman goes into a relationship or expects that from a guy, it's probably a good sign that, yeah, you probably need to run in the other direction. I don't know. Agree, disagree? Let me know in the comments below. The next unrealistic expectation is that men somehow can't be body shamed. I was reading a whole article about this, how this is only a woman's issue. That is a bunch of BS. Seriously, I remember playing sports as a kid and just being made fun of ruthlessly because I was so skinny and I kind of went along with it. I learned that when people are attacking you, you know, if you just simply go with it, they can't use it against you. But I saw so many other kids because, yeah, they were big, they were heavy. One guy, I remember he had breasts and it was, they changed his name. They called him Titterina, even though his last name, I'm not going to say it, but it was close to that. And it was just so, I mean, it was frustrating. I think literally he quit the team. The next unrealistic expectation, men always have to make the first move. Now, I do think this one is changing a bit in West society, but it's still expected that the guy puts himself out there, aka deals with the rejection of getting turned down. And this one could be really confusing because you've got society telling you, don't be overly aggressive, but you know that if you don't actually go after it, if you don't actually put yourself out there, if you don't maybe ask her a few times, then yeah, how many relationships have you been in in which you got rejected once, but you followed up? couple times and eventually she said, yeah, you know what? Now is the right time. So this one is really tricky. And again, if you agree or disagree, I want to hear from you guys down below in the comments. So what video to watch next? How about five ugly habits killing your style? Seriously, guys, if you are doing any of these, you probably want to stop. What am I talking about? Find out gents in this video right here.